Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to Asian Programming Users TV. Now we'll continue with our Android development series that we had started earlier on. Uh, in the previous tutorial, we actually saw how to pass data from a text box in one activity, of course, uh, to a grid view in the second activity. Now today, we're going to go a little bit further by seeing how to pass actually a collection from, of course, uh, one list view, of course, in one activity. Uh, to another list view in the second activity right here okay we're going to use serializable interface to of course uh, serialize our collection then of course pass it pass it over to the second activity right here in fact we're going to be transferring data now you can see right here these are app that we're going to make this of course is our list view of course with our data right here uh, from Cassini right here to discovery okay this is the first now if I go ahead, I click my floating action button right here. It opens the second activity right here. Now this is our second activity. It's past the data. Now you can see the data we had in the first list is right here. Of course, in this particular a second activity right here. Now if we go back to the first activity, you can see it's actually now empty. It's a very basic example right here that you're going to see. So welcome. We'll get started. So the very first thing we're going to do right here, we've provided a link below, okay? That's going to lead you, of course, to the tutorial, the text tutorial, right here in our website, all right? So navigate over to that particular link. And you can see we have, of course, uh, our source code right here. First, in our build or cradle, the app level, where we need to add the dependencies. Of course, first you see, for instance, compile SDK version with 25 build tools version. 25.0.2 right here our minimum SDK version was 15 okay then of course if we come right here dependencies in the dependencies section we're actually not using any special dependencies of course our main activity is going to be deriving from the app compat so we are just including the app compat support library we're also including the design uh, support library that's going to enable us use uh, components like the floating action uh, button all right so that's it this of course is right here our app uh, level build or cradle next you're going to move right here to activity main dot xml now we have three layouts we have the activity main dot xml content main dot xml and then activity second uh, dot xml now activity main dot xml as well as the content main dot xml uh, these zones belong to the main activity, right? They belong to the main activity. So, as you can see right here, this is our main acti activity main dot. It's actually auto generated by Android Studio. Take note, inside it, we're including the content main dot XML, which is actually going to include our content. Then, of course, in the content main dot XML, right here, we're going to have our list view. So, this is the list view in our main activity. Of course, our first list view right here. The layout width is going to match parent, where the layout height, of course, is going to wrap at the content that we're going to be having. Next, we're going to move right here to activity second layout right here. This one is going to contain the second uh, list view, which of course shall be receiving the data, of course, from our first, actually our first uh, list view or our first activity then of course if we move to classes right here we have three classes spacecrafts collection class second activity class as well as the main activity class second activity and main activity these are activities all right they're going to be deriving from the app compact activity while right here the spacecrafts collection class this is uh, just a simple class right here there's going to be uh, implementing the serializable interface now the serializable interface is going to enable us to serialize this class so that you can of course uh, transfer it right here to of course our second activity all right so right here we're going to have uh, as a property we're going to have an array list of strings that we're calling spacecrafts right here okay then of course we get its getters and setters if you call the get spacecrafts we're going to return for you uh, this that particular array list that we called spacecrafts. Now, if you call set spacecrafts, we require you to pass us an array list right here. 
of strings okay that you're going to of course uh regard as our spacecraft then this is the spacecraft equal to spacecraft so this is going to enable us to set spacecrafts right here uh to this our temporary data store right here and then get spacecraft is going to enable us to return of course those particular spacecrafts so that's it take note of course is implementing the java.io.serializable interface then if we come right here we're going to move to of course our stock conductivity so this is a very basic activity uh, right here of course first is deriving from the app compact activity inside the on create first we're going to reference our list view no take note this is the second list view then of course we're going to receive data from our first activity so uh, intent i equal to this dot get intent then spacecraft collection equal to uh, right here spacecraft collection spacecraft collection equal to i which is of course our intent object that get a serializable extra then of course we pass in a key that you're going to be assigning of course in our first activity so for me i assigned it as spacecrafts then of course we cast this one to spacecraft collection so this is going to give us of course access right here towards spacecraft collection then of course we can simply go in uh, list view the set adapter new array adapter then of course spacecraft collection dot get spacecrafts we're going to be able to access of course our spacecrafts this way by calling the get spacecrafts it's that simple we have passed of course our collection right here to our second activity now let's come to our main activity and see of course our main activity is deriving from the app compact activity right here of course inside our own create method first we're going to reference our list view then of course we call this method populate data now populate data this is a simple helper method this is going to populate our spacecrafts array list with uh, the spacecrafts right then once we have that one of course we're going to set adapter right here of course the data source is the spacecraft array list that we just populated floating action button when clicked what are you going to do well of course first we're going to set uh, our list view right here to empty we're going to pass in an empty array list right here okay so that's going to give of course uh, sorry the impression that we've actually transferred the data so we set pass in an empty array list then of course we call the send data now the send data is a method that is going to send data of course to our first to our second activity so first get data right here is going to simply return for us uh the spacecraft's collection where send data is going to send now to send intent i equal to new intent of course we're going to instantiate our intent object passing in of course uh, this right here okay then of course second activity dot class i dot put extra this is the key we are talking about spacecrafts okay a unique key right here you can pass in anything then this dot get data then of course we call the start activity it's just simple guys that's how of course we're sending data to our second activity from our first activity all right now proceed on to the site of course we're going to course have this video tutorial right here then of course a uh, download section just go right here then click download this is going to of course download uh, the source code is a direct link is going to download the full source code for you guys that's it that's it that's how to pass data of course using the serializable interface from one list view in one activity to the other now guys if you have a question right here just drop it in the comment section and also make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet okay the advantage of subscribing is that you're going to be able uh, to receive notifications whenever we post tutorials we do post our tutorials quite regularly others take care i'll catch you in the next class